buddy <laughs> and like looking up at me I like that you are weird die on me like like this and I literally can't move that's because I love you hi guys and welcome back to my channel it's Yu Yan today I have a special guest I am the boyfriend <laughs> he is the boyfriend that you guys have seen in the vlogs but usually he is a little bit camera shy but I finally convinced him to do a Q&A with me. So a lot of you guys sent in some really great questions on Instagram and we will be answering them. I am excited. And I'm excited. <laughs> if you guys want to see our Q&A, then please just keep on watching. If you hear squeaking in the back, that is Kobe playing with his ball. Okay, so the question that we got asked the most was how did we meet? So this was six years ago. I was rushing for a sorority in college and um, there was like a rush event so I went. He saw me. I didn't really acknowledge him so um, he had one of our mutual friends introduce him to me and then I was like okay whatever <laughs> and then he added me on Facebook. What were your first impressions of each other? You go first. <laughs> The first time you saw me was during game night. I thought you were cute and I wanted to approach you, but I was shy. <laughs> you were shy. So the first time I really noticed you, I guess, was like when you were coming out of the corner and you wanted to shake my hand to introduce yourself with your hands in your pockets mm -hmm. <laughs> and like looking up at me. And then I was just like, oh, okay, it's just another Asian dude. <laughs> What was your first date? Well, this is kind of a long story on how we got into our first date. Like I said, I was in a sorority and he was in a fraternity. My sorority had like this date auction for charity. It's like a donation for breast cancer awareness and yeah. all the new sisters essentially go on dates with the person who bids the highest, which is terrible if you think about it. Yeah, so the single sisters basically get like auctioned off i guess as dates whoever bits the highest gets to go on a date with them so i was single at the time and he was interested and he had asked me a couple of times to like go on dates and stuff and, and do things she said no and i kept saying no I so what i ended up doing was i went to the dinner where the auction was held and i went with a lot of money Making okay, damn sure that she couldn't say no to money. me. Yeah, so what happened was I was the highest bidder. Um, he yeah. paid $200. So now he says he bought me. Bought me for $200. And then we went on our first date, which was to Nobu because he was trying to impress me. It was nice. And afterwards, I offered to drive her to school the next day. And she said no at first. But then she ended up saying yes later that night. Yes. Yeah, that was good. And then from there, we've seen each other every single day. You guys ever get irritated about small things? So how do you guys deal with it? Yes. Definitely. And we deal with it by letting the other know. We found that the best way is really to just communicate. There really is no other way. Like, if we are in a fight, like, we have to communicate or else it just builds up and then it just leads to a bigger fight later on. Favorite memory as a couple? I like that one. Probably your first... Was it anniversary or your birthday when we went to the top of the Empire State Building? That was, that was my birthday. Yeah, that was, that was the first birthday we were officially together for. My favorite memory is when we went to Coney Island. So for our first Valentine's Day together, keep in mind this is like in the middle of February so it's super cold and it was snowing and we drove to Coney Island in the middle of the night and we were just like sitting on the bench with like a pile of snow yeah, covered. The entire beach yeah, was the, covered in snow. <laughs> the entire beach was covered in snow and we were just like talking. Yeah. Was there a time period during your long-term relationship that was more challenging? When we first moved in together and I realized how much stuff you really have. <laughs> what? I mean, I agree that when we first moved in together, it was harder just because at that time he was working a lot and a lot of the things that we moved, I kind of had to deal with that myself. Ordering the furniture and making sure that we have everything here. Favorite thing about each other? I like that you are weird <laughs> and have a, <laughs> have a distinct sense of humor. I told you this before, not everybody is going to get it, but 
after being together for so long, like I, I obviously understand it. Yeah, took about six years. <laughs> My favorite thing about you is how you're able to be very patient. You're very understanding, let me put it that way, because you deal with me and playing games and me and going to work, wanting to go to the gym before. Well, those are just the things you want to do. Yeah, but you allow me to do it. Okay. Who pays? How do you guys discuss money stuff with your significant other? We pretty much split it, like 50-50. Everything. Yeah. But we're not like super like tight about that. Like sometimes he will pay for something and then I will pay for something. And yeah. Yeah. And sometimes if one overpays, then the other quick pays him like $2. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> That's a joke. Best trip together. You're going to say Orlando. Well, I really liked Orlando just because that was like our first vacation together. But I feel like Hawaii kind of tops that. Now. Hawaii is my favorite. Yeah, that was our most recent one too. What is the thing you guys argue slash dis disagree about most? I think chores and like responsibilities. Like walking the dog? Walking the dog, doing the dishes. Like early on the relationship was obviously about like more immature things, mm. but now that- what do you really like me? <laughs> okay, it wasn't like that. <laughs> what are your love languages? Are yours different from his? Yes. I'm pretty sure you don't remember anymore. Our first one is the same, which is uh, quality time. That's like our most important thing. And then for me, physical touch is like pretty high on my list. I think that was second or third, I don't remember. But that's like lower on his list. Second for you was acts of service. So like that makes sense because like he likes doing things for me. That's his way of showing love instead of like hugging me or like... <laughs> Most annoying quality about each other. At first it was because you always wanted me to text back. You remember yes. that? Well yeah. yeah, that was like the very beginning. Well, it was like two years. Really? Something like that, I don't know. Um, now it's maybe, I don't know, just you having literally piles of clothes. That's the most annoying thing? It's pretty annoying, and for me. <laughs> that you literally leave things everywhere. It's me claiming my territory. Really? <laughs> he literally leaves like little candy wrappers everywhere. He leaves his clothes everywhere too. Okay, but I get that because I leave my stuff places too. We I... should turn the camera. No. <laughs> I have a big pile of clothes over there. Oh, like when you take something out, like you don't put it back. Yep. That's true. You do that a lot? Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Okay. <laughs> so we had a lot of questions on what we both do for a living. You want to go first? I work in finance at JP Morgan Chase. And for me, I am about to graduate. Um, I am a full-time student right now, graduating in May. And as my, for my job, I am a digital content creator. Have you guys ever been on a break? If so, how did you guys overcome it? No. No, we never. We broke up for three hours one time because <laughs> we got yeah. into a fight. But that's like the most. And why do we get into a fight? I don't remember. Because you're crazy. It wasn't crazy. Okay. <laughs> what? The answer is no. We've never been on a break. Yes. We don't. We both don't believe in breaks. Yeah, we both don't. How to spend time together also while giving him his time to play his video games. So he plays a lot, a lot of games. When Especially he's... now. Especially now that we are in quarantine. I don't know. I, I feel like even in the beginning of our relationship, like I've known that, like he's just he does play his games and that's what he does in his alone time so I will give him his time to do that because he doesn't really like go out and hang out with his friends that's his way of hanging out with his friends like by playing games together it's something that I can do in the comfort of my home and still not have you to worry like if I were to go out and just you know go out to the clubs or something with my boys like of, of know, the two, obviously I would rather have them play playing games. Playing video games and like a million other things, like video games is not that bad. Like but. obviously I still want to spend time together. He knows that he's not going to play for the entire day and just ignore me for the entire day. So at a certain point he will stop and we will do things together. Is Samson also into fashion style? Ooh. <laughs> Absolutely not. Very fashionable. No, I'm very simplistic. I buy $4 Uniqlo t-shirts because they're comfortable. Um, they're cheap and I don't really care too much about expensive clothes. Yeah. 
I think most of like his nice clothes, like nice casual clothes are, are from you. Yeah, are from me. Describe each other in three words. Caring, considerate, ambitious. For you, I would say considerate, affectionate, and motivated. Okay. That was good. <laughs> when did you get Kobe? We got him a uh, year into our relationship. Yeah, a year into our relationship. Yeah. I would not recommend that, to be honest. I think yeah. we got him way too soon, and if we did break up... Like, I would keep him. No, I would keep him! Because he lived at my house the entire time. And yet, but he loves me more. What is Samson's favorite outfit of yours? When she's in a baggy hoodie and sweatpants. So what I'm in right now? No, something even bummier than that. <laughs> Because that means that she's comfortable around me. And that's good. That's a good thing. Have you said I love you yet? Yes, we have. It's been six years. Um, We've said it many times. I think the first time was six months into the relationship. Yeah, yeah. I think six months. I said it first. Yeah. And then I had no choice but to say it Hey! <laughs> How do you guys deal with each other's bad habits or annoying things? Try to keep it to a minimum? Yeah. Well, we try to like not hold it in especially living in such a tight space so if something is bothering us we say it like right then and there but i will say to choose your battles because if you just if i nag him about every little thing we would get into a lot of fights so i pick and choose my battles and if it's like something very small then i try to brush it off yeah have you either of you ever felt insecure in your relationship definitely yes. there has been insecurities more so in the beginning, how did we overcome it? I think it's just time, just knowing day in, day out how committed we are to each other. And after a while, you just start to realize that if this person can do this every single day for X amount of time, um, obviously you still talk about it and it's just kind of like, you know, then you don't really have to just say it, you can prove it to the other. And also when we first started dating, we were really young. So I think that was also a huge factor in insecurity. I was 18. Yeah. No. I was I was I just turned 19. Just turned 19. And he just turned 21. Yeah. So so we technically met when you're 18 and I was 20. Yeah. Yeah. What are your favorite activities and hobbies to do together? We like binge watching shows. Yes. <laughs> do we we like going out, going on vacations? Mhm. Mm a lot of times when we go on vacations, we don't really have an agenda. I'm more of a planner than he is. But I don't like having like every specific day planned. Mm -hmm. We just kind of have like the places we want to go to and kind of work around that. Yeah, and we just, you know, whatever is along the way, we stop by, see. You know, it's just play by ear. Okay, how often do you guys get annoyed with each other in quarantine? Not annoyed. Because, Not at all? No, because we see each other, we live together. Yeah, but even people We've, that live together, they get annoyed of each other. Yeah, I guess. I mean, no, I'm not getting annoyed. If anything, I'm, it's good because now I'm learning how to cook. Yes, he is. He is learning how to cook. That's one thing that we got out of quarantine. In general, I think we spend a lot of time together, like even before quarantine. We obviously see each other every single day. I don't think it's that much different. Do you guys argue? Yes. I think we both have pretty strong personalities and a lot of the times that really clashes. So we do argue. I think most of our arguments are like bickering though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. like they're not like actually fighting. We don't actually ever fight. What do you mean? I feel I, like mean, I mean, we have obviously. Yeah. Six years we obviously have fought, but like most of it is like bickering. Does living together cost more in New York? No. Living together is the only way you can live in New York. Okay, that's not necessarily it's not, true. It's not true. But the thing is, if you want to live in Manhattan, so typically speaking, you have a roommate. Yeah. Um, and this is my roommate right here. And yeah, no, I mean, it, it helps with rent, utilities, you know, all that. Um, makes it much more manageable. Are you guys huggers while asleep? <laughs> he is a big hugger. Yeah. He doesn't touch me during the day. Okay, I don't <laughs> not touch you during okay, the day. Okay, okay. He he's not a hugger during the day. I'm not very physically affectionate. Yeah, but at night when we're sleeping, he won't get off of me. You're literally on top of me the whole time. I can't yeah. breathe. And she always complains about 
how fat I am. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, you say my thighs weigh a million pounds. <laughs> well, he wraps his thigh on me like like this, and I literally can't move. That's because I love you. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and liked the questions that we answered. Um, I feel like we can do this again sometime. <laughs> it's possible. Stay tuned for more special appearances. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.